our inspirational Britain's Got Talent contestants. Their first audition left David Williams with his hand firmly on that golden buzzer. Ultimate feel good. Uh, sign along with us. And there's Jade and Christian uh, there. Morning. Lovely to see you both again. Nice to see you too. Excellent. Hi. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Oh, Jade, it's so lovely watching you again. It was such a joyous moment, uh, all of you there, all in your bright colours, singing your hearts out and smiling. And then the ultimate accolade, that golden buzzer from David. That's obviously sent you straight through to the semi-final. Um, you sang This Is Me, we heard there from The Greatest Showman. That's a hard act to follow, isn't it? So what, what are your plans, without giving too much away, what are, what's the feeling for the semi-final? Yeah, following on from This Is Me, it's so hard to think of a song that represents, you know, like inclusion, that everybody <laughs> counts and that you are who you are and you should never change for other people. And that's the message that we've always had as a group. So it was quite hard to find um, another song that kind of spread that message but we found it with the one that we're using and the lyrics, if you listen carefully, it's just everything that we stand for. And well, and it's now you full time. I mean, you get in there, you find it, you're very much part of it. You give, you've given up the chance of, of, of going away to university as a result. So you and Sign along with us are going to be connected for a very long time, I would have thought, Jade. Yeah, definitely. The group is, it's more than just a group now. It's like a family, you know, we all, are so different, but we're all just connected by the want for the world to change and be a happier, more accepting place. And I think we can relate to quite a lot of people because within our group, there's so many differences, but we're kind of saying, you know, be who you are and say this is me. And a lot of people out there can relate to that. So hopefully we'll keep growing and growing. Um, but, but yeah, we'll, we'll one of one of the stars of the show there, Jade, on your knee, uh, Mr. Christian himself. He's known as the Miracle Boy, um, and and I think you know if people don't know his story, could you tell them why he is the Miracle Boy? Yeah, so Christian is the Miracle Boy because when he was born, he didn't take his first breath for 24 hey. minutes, which left him with severe disabilities. And we was told initially that he probably wouldn't survive the night and then that he wouldn't survive the winter. And <clears throat> after he defied both of them, we was told, you know, his outcome of life probably wouldn't be, you know, the same as other children in the way that he would be wheelchair bound. He would never be able to talk. He would never be able to eat food. He wouldn't have control over his limbs. Um, he wouldn't be able to drink anything like that and everything every barrier put on Christian he's just defied it and said no I'm not being defined by that I'm going to keep trying and that's why he's a little miracle boy because he just making miracles happen every day, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you, you've you played a huge part in that, Jade, because you decided that you would, te A, teach yourself British Sign Language and then teach Christian. How much difference has that made to, to his life? It's literally changed his world. Being able to sign has given him speech, which has then given him an understanding of other things in the world. It means that he's happier because he can you know, express his feelings and tell us if he doesn't like something, if he does like something. And it's meant that he can make friends. He can he can talk to yeah. our group and, you know, communicate with his family. And that's just something that Yay. has just been life-changing. Well, he so. seems very happy to be talking to us this morning. Are you happy? You say happy? Happy. Happy. We're very happy to talk to you, Christian. And you mentioned that the rest of the group there, obviously this must have been very difficult during lockdown. How on earth have you all managed to, to rehearse? It's been so tough for our group because there's 70 members in our group. So obviously we haven't been able to meet, meet up at all. We've just been doing like video links, Zoom calls, things like that, um, which has been hard, but obviously... As a group, we're so strong and we've helped each other through it. On stage, it was hard as well because we were 70 of us, so we weren't all allowed on the stage. Yeah. So there were the beautiful singers from our group was on stage, but all of the signers 
which was which is like the majority of the group they was pre-recorded which was like a bit of a shame that they couldn't have that experience but you make the best out of a bad yeah. situation and we've all well, helped each other you always do you and christian always do um, and and no audience as well cheering you on obviously you had the video wall how was that so that's a virtual audience yeah, virtual. They're, they're, yeah. there's hundreds of them mm. all over the place yeah it, it was kind of scary in a different way like obviously you didn't have all of the faces going back and back up, like looking at you, but you just had this screen and there were so many boxes. It was kind of like daunting because they weren't actually there, but kind of better than a live audience in terms of nerves, I think. But it was just so different, like nothing you could explain really. Um, do you know, Jed, you are such an impressive person. You really are. And I think when you look at you and you hear what you've done and what you've performed and, you know, the family that you're from, the Kalduffs, you know, your, your parents, everybody involved there, um, what would it mean to get to the final? To get to the final would just mean absolutely everything to us, to the group and to people <clears throat> out there watching because it would inspire them further and show them that if you believe and if you want something and work hard for it you can have it no matter what barriers are put on you because of disability age gender race anything if you want something and you work for it you can get it and that's the message that we want to put out there and getting to the final would just mean everything to us well. We have got a question for you, you two. Now, you didn't know this was going to happen. Indeed, we didn't know this was going to happen, but it is. Here it is, <laughs> right back to the studio. We are going to give you, Jade and Christian, a spin of the wheel. So if Christian <laughs> can tell us, hard or soft spin? Christian, yeah. hard or soft? Soft. Soft. OK, Christian, this one's especially for you. That's my softest spin. Oh! Thousand pounds! Thousand pounds, Christian! I just thought Yay! that might be more of more use. That was good. Yay! Uh, excellent, oh, guys. Listen. Thank you. There's a thousand quid for you, okay? Enjoy. Uh, we'll be looking forward to watching you on Saturday. Helping our dreams of like having a fully accessible holiday home for the group and for other people out there. Um, to use for free and stuff. So thank you so much. Thank very you. Welcome. Thank you pleasure. very much Bye -bye. indeed. Good much, luck on our Saturday. pleasure. Thank you very Bye, much Christian. indeed. Bye, <laughs> Christian. Bye, darling.